Okay, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make our signs or bumper stickers for our project-based learning. So what you're going to do is, on the Windows machines, um, we're going to use this bit of software called Adobe Illustrator, which you should be able to find either on the desktop, um, yours might have an icon there, or if you go Start, or Programs, it should be in this list here, and you want Adobe Illustrator CC. And when you click on that one, this piece of software is going to open up. Now Adobe Illustrator is a piece of industry standard graphic design software, and that's what we're going to be using to actually put our whole image together. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click on the top left hand corner and go File and then New. And this is going to bring up a screen for us. It's going to allow us to input some parameters on the size of the sign that we're going to have. So down in the width here, I'm going to click on this one, click and drag to change it, delete the width out of that one, and we're going to make this one 185 millimeters wide. And then down to the height section here, we're going to make that 145 millimeters tall. And hit OK. And that's going to bring up this box here on our screen, which is going to be the size of our um, of our particular up to your sign. So <coughs> we've got a number of components we're going to be adding in. We're going to have some sort of image or symbol, and then we're also going to have some text on that as well. <coughs> so what I need you to do is work out what symbols you've got. <coughs> Excuse me. So mine's going to have a shark. I'm going to do one that has to do with drum lining of sharks. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go start uh, all programs, uh, Internet Explorer. I'm going to open that one up, and then I'm going to go to Google.com. I'm going to try and find some images that I need that relate to my design that I've chosen. So I'm going to need a picture of a shark to start with, and I'm going to need a picture of a big hook as well. So I'm going to go shark, and then what the kind of images we're looking for are silhouettes. So I'm going to type in shark silhouette. And this is going to load up some pictures of sharks for me. Got one open down here for you. And the silhouettes are obviously black and white because the way we're dealing with is we're, we're dealing with actually cutting out a material to stick to this. We're not actually printing anything. So we need a nice big block um, big block image, kind of like the ones I'm saying to get here when you look for a silhouette. I don't really want ones like this here with um, internal detail. I want a nice big outline. A little bit of in internal detail is fine, but you don't want too much. So I think I'm going to go for this one here. So I'm going to click on that image there, and then I'm going to click on view image. And that should load up a nice big version for me. Okay, I'm going to go right click on that image, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into my Adobe Illustrator file. <clears throat> I'm going to right click, or I'm going to go edit, and edit and paste. Or you can do Control V as well, or Command V, it will be on your Windows machines. Oh, let's just pull that image across. All right, we might save it instead if it doesn't want to play for us. So let's go back to that image. Let's go right click and let's go save picture as. I'm just going to put it on the desktop and I'm going to call that one Shark. Save. I'm going to go back into Adobe Illustrator. And what I'll be able to do is if I go Start Computer, this will bring up a window, kind of like Finder on your Macs. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to find my picture of a shark, this one here. And I'm going to drag that into, just click and drag it into my Adobe Illustrator window. I'm going to minimize this one, and now I've got my picture of my shark. Now what we need to do is we need to turn that into a vector. So I'm just going to drag it onto the side here so it's a little bit on the grey. I might go all the way to the side and bring it out here so it's all on the grey, like this. And then turn it into a vector, which is a nice, sharp, line-based drawing. So if I click on Image Trace, just up here, and you can see what it does, it sharpens it all up and turns it into a nice shape for me. 
I can then click expand. Okay, and now I've got these nice these nice shapes I can use in my logo. All I need to do is I need to delete this white background because I don't want the white background on the white background over here. So I can go right click, ungroup, click off the picture, click back on the white background, hit delete. And I'm going to take it to eye out as well. So any internal shapes you need to get rid of. So there should be no white. It should be a grey background and a nice black picture. I can now click on that shark. Move back to my zoom picture. Click on that shark and bring him in like this. Now, he looks a little bit too big for me. So I can adjust the shape. Now you notice that if I adjust the shape on this corner here, so if I click on my shark, I get this nice box coming around it, and I've got these little control points on the corner. I can click and drag those to adjust the shape. Now, I can make it look fat, and I can change proportion, which doesn't make it look very realistic. So my advice is, whenever you're clicking on that, that little control point to change the size, if you hold shift, it'll keep everything in proportion so your images will look correct. So hold shift, drag it in, and then we'll start to get a picture of our picture of our shark. Now this this we can change the size of this later on if it's not quite perfect. So I'm going to leave that leave that one down there as the start of my logo. The next image I'm going to want to have on mine is I need a big picture of a hook. So I'm going to go back into back into Google Images, and I'm going to I'm going to write hook silhouette. I'm going to go to images, and I'm starting to get some, some good looking hooks to symbolize my drum line. So I like this one here, but it's on the wrong angle, but that's okay. We can fix it up in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go to view image. It's going to load up for me. I'm going to go right click on it again, save picture as. I'm going to save that one as hook on the desktop and go save. I'm going to go back into Adobe Illustrator and I've actually left where it says desktop down here. I've left that window open from before. I can go hook there and I can drag that one in. Like so. I'm going to drag that off into the grey. Click on it and drag. We can drag it over into the gray area. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. Now you see if I move my mouse out past where this resize corner is, it's going to change to um, the cursor changes to the rotate cursor, which is sort of 90 degree bend with the arrowheads. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to rotate it around. And if I hold shift, I'll be able to snap that to 90 degrees like that. That's not perfect either, so I'm actually going to bring that around a little bit more. I'm going to go maybe somewhere like uh, a bit more. Maybe something like that. I can always rotate it more after I've image traced it. Okay, I'm going to click that one. I'm going to click image trace again. And then I'm going to click expand. I need to click on it all again, right click. Ungroup, click off, click back on that white background, and hit delete. And the same with this little shape in here, and then hit delete. And now I've got this, this nice hook. I'm going to drag back over here. I want to make that a bit bigger, so I'm going to click and drag on this left-hand corner, holding shift again to keep it in proportion. And then I'm going to make this a bit sharp, a bit bigger as well, I think. And like that. <coughs> okay. Now when it comes to your text, you've got two options. You can use the inbuilt text in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so we've got this T over here. I can click on that. Click anywhere. And I'm going to call mine Man the Drum Lines. And I can select that. And just like you would in Pages or Word, you can go up here and you can change the 
the font as soon as it loads up for me. And just like Word, we've got our fonts here. And um, yeah, we've got our fonts. You've got, you can make it bold, you can change the point size. Um, you want something nice and bold and not too skinny because the skinny stuff doesn't, doesn't cut very well. I might think this is going to look better in two sections. So I'm going to put a, just hit enter on there to bring it down one. So I can just have something that looks like that. And that's just using a default font inside Adobe Illustrator. <coughs> Now, for the bottom section, I might want to use a font that I don't have on this computer, in which case, I can go into Internet Explorer, and I can go to a website called dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And here I've got heaps of different fonts that I can choose. Now, we want a nice, bold font. So, I might go to horror or something like that. We don't want anything with too much, too much detail. That's going to be too difficult to. Um... This one here, that's not too bad. This one down here, blood blocks, way too much detail. We wouldn't be able to cut that out on the vinyl cutter and then weed it and make it look good. Friday the Thirteenth, that one there's not too bad at all. Curse of the Zombie with all this internal white detail in here, that's not going to be good. Okay, so you want nice block bold. Um, bold uh, fonts, otherwise it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to click on Friday the 13th here. I can do a preview here. And what that will do is that will generate an image that I can image trace, just like I've done with my images. So if I go click on custom preview, and I go, I'm going to go hashtag shark cull 2016, and then go submit. Okay, and that actually doesn't have a, oh, this one here doesn't actually have a 16, it's only got Roman numerals, one, two, three, so it's actually built on a, on a font for, um, a font for movies, so based on that, I'm not actually going to use that particular font, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to find something else. And back. Um, maybe this red undead one. Let's have a look at that. And let's go hashtag shark cull 2016. There we go. So I've got something like that. I'm going to change this size here to large, so I get a bigger image. I'm going to hit submit again. And then I've got an image that I like. I quite like that top one there. So I'm going to go right click, and I'm going to go, I can't save this particular picture. So we're actually going to have to do something um, a little bit tricky. I'm going to save background as. Yeah, so I should be able to right click on it and go save background as. Right click. Save background as. And I'm going to go on desktop and I'm going to call that shark coal. Let's drag that one into Adobe Illustrator and see if that gets what we want. Back to start. Back to computer. Back on a desktop. And then, 
shark. Oh, let's see if that gives us something. Wait for that to load. <coughs> okay, and there we go, it's coming for us. Wonderful. So we're just gonna zoom out a little bit. So if you hold down the Alt key and use your mouse wheel, you can actually zoom in and zoom out because this is obviously quite big. So I'm gonna drag it up to the gray again. Same thing, image trace. And then expand, click off, right click on. Click left click on, right click, ungroup, click off, click on the background, hit delete. And then once again, all those white bits, we want to delete all those. That one deletes. That one delete. That one delete. That one delete. And then obviously that's quite, it's a bit too big, so we can group it all back up together again. So draw a box around everything, so it's all blue. I'm actually going to right click and regroup that. So when I click on it, I can select the whole object. Then I can grab this handle on the corner again, holding shift again, and I can make that a bit smaller. And then I'm gonna drag this one down here. And I'm gonna zoom back in and start a little bit of a play. I'm gonna move this one up a little bit here. Move this shark up a little bit. So I'm just I'm just tweaking things, just trying to get it to look as good as I can. I think I want that in the center. I'm gonna put bias towards the center on that one. And then back to my black arrow. Bring this hook down a little bit. I'm gonna pull that across a little bit. And I got something like that. Now, I'm also gonna, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna click on this rectangle tool here. I'm gonna come in from the edge a little bit. And I'm gonna draw a box. I'm gonna put a border on it, like that. Now, obviously, it's all gone black. So if I go down to the left here, that's my fill color, and this is my stroke color, this one here. If I click this little arrow tool here, it's gonna change them over, and I'm gonna have a nice black looking line. If I go to stroke here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, I might go for four, maybe five. Something like that. Okay, and then what you can also do is you can click on that rectangle, and this little circle here, you can actually click and drag on that and actually round the corners off a little bit, which I think is looking a little bit better. Like that. Now I just need, to, regardless of what color you're going to do, though this, I just need um, the black and white image to actually cut out on the, the vinyl color. So I've got something like that. I'm I'm pretty happy with that one. So what I need to do is I need to then turn this into a format that I can actually I can actually cut on the laser cutter. Now the only thing I need to do, so I need shapes. Okay, so where it says man the drum drum lines, this is a text one. That's text. See the way I just get a box and an underlined blue line? Whereas when I click on the shark, see the way I get this line with all these dots around it? That means it's a shape. That one's a shape, shape, shape. This one's text. If you've got a text one, I need you to right click on that one and go create outlines, and that turns it into a shape. Same with the border here. Left click on the border, right click, uh, and that one should be fine, I'm pretty sure. So now I actually need this file. So I'm going to have a couple of USBs floating around the room, and when you get that USB, you need to go up the top hand, left hand corner here, you go File, you go Save As, and Adobe Illustrator file is fine. I want you to click down on your USB, so if you go to Computer down here on the left, and a USB, a USB will come up when you plug it in, so I'm just going to plug mine in, like so. 
Um, uh, let's put it on the Windows machine. And there's Mr. McCabe's USB, so I'm going to double click on that one. To save it in there, just wait for the computer to load. Now the important thing is, <clears throat> oh, it's not going to work for me. That's okay. I want you to select. I want you to select the USB drive. I'm just going to save mine onto my desktop, but you need to put yours onto the USB coming around. And you need to make sure you name this correctly so that I can actually print them for you. So the first thing I need is your last name, which is Holst for me. <coughs> you need to tell me what colour you want the vinyl. So mine is going to be um, dark blue. So I'm going to go Holst, dark blue text. And then I'm going to go on, and then the background colour, white background. So I know that when you give me all your files, I'm going to cut that out of blue vinyl, and I'm going to stick it onto a white piece of acrylic for you. Hit save for me. This window will come up here. Everything should be fine, so you can just hit OK. Wait for it to finish saving. Eject the USB. Come and give it to me, and I'll put all these together on my laptop, and then they'll be ready to cut out. Thank you very much.